What a difference a price makes. Or was what a difference a day makes? 24 little hours from 1934 by Roy Washington and his orchestra. Welcome to the UEC Uranium Update on Commodity TV. The price difference uranium is at $106 per pound and is rising further. The market is in deficit and stays there for a long time. The UK has announced a major nuclear power generation capacity expansion, with the government calling it the biggest expansion of nuclear power for 70 years. The news came on the heels of a recent report that French EDF plans to extend the lives of the nuclear power plants it operates in the UK. They would invest the equivalent of some 1.65 billion US dollars in the initiative, aiming to maintain current power output levels from their nuclear power plants until at least 2026. The UK's current nuclear power capacity of 6 gigawatts is spread across nine reactors at five sites. Six other reactors have been shut down since 2021. Another two sites are planned to be built, one of them at least with a capacity of over 3 gigawatts. By 2050, the country's government plans to have 24 gigawatts in capacity. In addition comes Sweden, Italy, the Arabian countries, China and India, of course, USA and many more. Demand grows steadily, now with an expected CAGR of 3%. That means in the next years around 6 million pounds additional demand every year. But the deficit for this year and coming years stays around 35 to 40 million pounds, maybe more, per annum, even with some production going online like Paladin, Boss Energy, Encore and Energy Fuels, which is already in the planned production assumptions included. The deficit will not diminish. Also production from Cameco is sold already and will not come to the spot market. We expect plus $150 per pound in 2024 for the uranium price, but $200 per pound uranium is in the play for 2025. Could be more. An absolute favorite of us was and is always Uranium Energy Corporation. It was one of the biggest and best buying opportunities last year in March when a stupid short seller brought the price down to $2.30. US Thanks again for that, I took it. Price today is 8 plus 8 US dollars and we have a first price target of 10 to 10.50 US dollars and then 18.50 US dollars in the point in figure chart. UBC announced that the company's board of directors has approved restarting uranium production at its fully permitted and past producing Christensen Ranch in situ recovery operations in Wyoming. The recovered uranium will be processed at the fully operational Irigaray Central Processing Plant with a current license capacity of 2.5 million pounds U308 per year. The Irigaray CPP is the hub central to four fully permitted ISR projects in the Powder Ribbon Basin of Wyoming, including Christensen Ranch. The first production is expected for August this year already and will be funded with existing cash on the company's balance sheet. As UEC's strategy has been to remain 100% unhatched, produced uranium will be sold at prevailing spot market prices, which was, as said, $106 per pound, U308 as of 15th January this year, as reported by UXC. In the coming months, the company will provide additional information on the expected volumes for the first year of production. The key focus in the final pre-production phase before the August restart is hiring and training of additional operations personnel to augment UEC's experienced operations team to ensure a successful ramp-up of production. New personnel are anticipated to be hired from local communities. This is the moment, ladies and gentlemen, we all as shareholders have waited for. Congratulations to Amir Adnani and the UEC team, which had always a clear focus and game plan for higher uranium prices. Now production will start in 2024, generating cash flow and also they can advance their Canadian assets towards future production. The fundamentals in the uranium markets have never been better and now is the time to harvest. UEC has the largest SK1300 compliant ISR uranium resource base in the USA and has a top balance sheet strength. The Irigaray CPP is the hub central to 11 satellite ISR projects across the Powder River Basin and Great Divide Basin, four of which are fully permitted. The total measured and indicated resources in Wyoming projects are plus 66.2 million pounds U308 equivalent and the total inferred resources are over 15 million pounds. 
Combined with the South Texas Hub & Spoke ISR platform, USC controls the largest ISR resource base in the USA with over 75 million pounds of national indicated resources and 25 million pounds of inferred resources. The balance sheet has plus $213 million cash and liquid assets with no debt as of 31st October last year. Great company, great share price, but still a lot of upside potential. I'm in. Wyoming pre-production preparations are completed. Since that time, additional work has progressed, including a detailed well-filled startup plan drilling to identify additional resources and submittal of an application to expand the Irigaray CPP license capacity from 2.5 to 4 million pounds, U308 per year. Let's rock it! You find all information also on our Commodity TV app in German and English, plus all about commodities. We are a Happy for a like, but more important, subscribe to our TV channels. Please note the shown disclaimer. UEC is part of the SRC Mining Specialist Duration Certificate, and of course, I am a shareholder in the company. Thanks for watching us, and bye bye from Switzerland.